look at this, an unexpected winter wonderland right in the heart of Cajun country, Shreveport, Louisiana. And it's the Sanford Independence Bowl, the fifth meeting all time between Mississippi State and Texas a and Yeah, offensively an interesting contrast in styles. Look at the temperature, 28 degrees, wind chill is about 10 degrees, and the snow started about an hour ago and has not let up. We'll get more on that from Rob later regarding the field conditions. This is Larry Huntington for Mississippi State trying to get to the edge. And he is brought down it is Wayne Madkin, a 6'4", 227-pound junior, completing 56% of his passes on the season with eight touchdowns and eight interceptions. A look at the skill positions. Desenzo Miller, their top rusher, number 12, one of the key people to watch out of the backfield, Gino. And their center, though, Michael Fair, he is the key. The first time in a long time that they have gone with the all-white uniforms, Williamson and Miller lining up out of the opposite eye. The snap was mishandled. AM recovers the fumble. An inauspicious beginning. The first play of the game, number 99, Ronald Flemings. <laughs> first down and 10. Weber and Toombs lining up out of the offset eye. Carpenter in motion. And that's Jamar Toombs, the fullback. There's a look at the starting quarterback, Mark Ferris, the sophomore, although he is 25 years old, 6'2, 206 pounds. A look at the skill positions. One of the guys to watch, Robert Ferguson, the team's leading receiver, and they will pitch and catch in this cold weather. Maybe a little bit sore in this weather. Yeah, he did sit out the Texas game, their last appearance. Toombs, again, straight ahead. McCauley, Valletta, McKinney, Yates, and Brooks. And McKinney making his 38th straight start. He graduated three and a half years. He's a smart kid, and he gets this offensive line in the right place. There's a look at the defensive front for the Bulldogs. Davis, Galladay, Blade, and Wims. Whitaker and Toombs lining up out of the eye on third down and four. To Ferguson. And he is close to the first down for Mississippi State's defense. They play just two linebackers with five DBs. Hagan, a big surprise, just a sophomore. And there's a look at the DBs. Depth, a question mark there, Gino. Depth, a question mark, but Josh Morgan, their free safety. He's going to blitz. He's going to be in a lot of tackles today. First down and goal to go for Texas A&M. Whitaker trying to get to the edge. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Richard Whitaker, the freshman, kicking in the turbo and finding pay dirt. In to attempt the extra point out of the hold of Wes Bodovich, and it's good. And the Aggies out of the Big 12 with an early 7-0 lead. Jackie Sherrill's team taking themselves an early hold. We'll be right back. Wanting to fall down, keeping his balance. Skates kicking off. This is Huntington near the goal line. Skates is pushed out of bounds near Chance Pierce. Take a look at the Mississippi State offensive line. A huge one led by Porkchok Womack, number 76. And he's back, but Michael Fair, the center, second team all SEC. He really kept this line together when Womack was out. Texas A&M, meanwhile, plays a 3-4 alignment to look at the front guys. Ronald Flemons, the one that recovered the fumble moments ago. The 25-yard line. Wayne Madkin in for his second series. Madkin has been bothered by a sinus condition all week. Missed practice a couple of days ago. Hands it off to just on that play. Christian Rodriguez, Cornelius Anthony, and Roy Lynn Bradley, number three. And Brian Gamble, former high school quarterbacks, makes all the checks for this defense. On the corners, the guy to watch is number 22, Sammy Davis. He's their top cover guy. But look out for the free safety, Jamison, especially in the snow. Second down and 11. Madkin keeps it himself. We don't have a great vantage point with the snow down on the field. They we're relying on a rise down in the sidelines. Out into the flat, incomplete. Punting to Mickey Jones. Low punt. Cole gets a fortuitous bounce. First and ten from their own 26-yard line. The Aggies. Tombs 
second down and seven. Coombs is the lone back. Two tight ends, two wideouts for the Aggies. Quick receiver screen. Ferguson eludes one tackler. Lunging forward near the first down. Very well. I'm not sure AM can do it, though. Similar conditions. You're right there. Off tackle. Tombs again. And when he gets a load of steam up, it's tough to bring him down. Tombs with an Aggie first down into Mississippi State territory. Tombs, Gino, picking up 34 yards. Ball on the Mississippi State 31. And this is Tombs again. Second down and eight. Ball on the Mississippi State 29-yard line. Tombs again exclusively. You can hear the chorus. A lot of versatility, Gino, in that Aggie offense. Tombs again gets to the edge. Still on his feet. Tombs inside the five-yard line. Another Aggie first down. First and goal from the Bulldog four. Tombs, why not? Touchdown, Aggies. Texas A&M has jumped out to a 13-0 lead. Wadovich with the hold. And he knocks it through. The men from College Station, Texas, led by R.C. Slocum. Let's take a look at the left side. Valletta, he pulls. There's the fullback lead block. They completely seal that right side of the defensive line. The footing, treacherous down there. Skates kicking off like he was on skates. Into the end zone and out of bounds. The Bulldogs will start off on their own 20-yard line. 14-0 here in the 25th edition of the Sanford Independence Bowl. Texas A&M and another fumble. Desenzo Miller, the SEC's leading rushing team, with just one yard rushing so far in the first quarter. Out of the shotgun, low snap and another fumble. Madkin takes off. And he is brought down. Third and three. They have yet to get a first down in the ballgame. This is their third possession. Williamson and Miller in the backfield. Complete to Miller, and Miller gets Mississippi State's first ball on the Mississippi State 32-yard line. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Miller into the boundary. Has some room, and he's near another Mississippi State first down on its own 41. Whistle. Whistle went before. Dead ball. Delay game. Offense, five yards. Remains second down. Bulldogs back on their own 36-yard line now. Second and six. Miller stays on his feet. That thing is a rumor from where he's looking. Ball on the Mississippi State 45. Madkin completes it to Griffith out of the backfield. He's met. Second down and seven. Mississippi State from its own 48. to the tailback that time. And that's where we stand right now. Matkin had his man and overthrew his target, Terrell Grindle. Get John Elway on the phone. Prentice Cole punting. Hangs one up real high for Chris Taylor, who lets it bounce. Tombs and Jones. Lining up out of the eye on first and ten, it's Tombs again. Over the left side again. Brought down. Tombs and Jones lining up out of the eye. Tombs between the tackles this time. Third down and three from the Aggies' own 27. Tombs usually a sure bet in short yarded situations. Not sure that he got there this time. Number 22 right there, Larry Huntington. Low line drive, end over end, punt. Walker and Griffith in the backfield. Ball on the Bulldog 32 yard line. Another fumbled snap. The fourth one, first 15 minutes are in the books. Jamar trying to entomb the hopes of Mississippi State as AM leads 14 0 when we come back. 
Well, it sure helps us out, Rob, up here in the booth. We can at least see where the goal lines are now. Running off tackle is Griffith on first and ten. He has a Mississippi State first down out near midfield. As the mishandled snaps continue to pile up. Play clock down at five. This is Walker, Dante Walker, with his first carry of the night. The Bulldog line, they're a bunch of big boys up front. AM coming on a blitz. He's got him wide open. Atkin has a man. And through the arms of his receiver, 15 Grindle. Ball at the AM 46 yard lines, third down and one. The toss to Dante Walker. He didn't get it. The wrecking crew at the 20 yard line. Chris Taylor standing on his own 10. And a flag. And yes, it is against the Bulldogs. Texas A&M 24-yard line. Richard Whitaker and Jamar Toombs lining up out of the eye. Toombs has been the game's most effective and productive player so far. This is him again. Toombs picking up about three. <laughs> there is hands off. A juggled handoff. Whitaker. Third and three. Incomplete. Larry Huntington. Back deep for Mississippi State. Another low punt. That has been the norm tonight. And Mississippi State will start with its best field position. Dante Walker. Deep back out of the eye. Adkin going up top. Incomplete. This time, though, they do take a chance, go to the shotgun, and Fear gets it back there. It is being ruled against the SEC West Mississippi State Bulldogs. Both teams coming in 7 and 4 on the season. Madkin. Incomplete. And now a late flag. 31. Throwing their first four wide receiver set. Atkin goes back to the same guy, number 22, Huntington. And it's incomplete. <laughs> I grew up in Northern California. I didn't have to play in this stuff, oh, but I snow ski there. Forgot about the blizzards up there. <laughs> On second and ten, it's Dante Walker running over the left side. We'll get back to the stress fractures on how he actually... Big gaping hole for Walker. And he could go. Touchdown, Dante Walker. Dante Walker takes it to the a 45-yard burst, and the Bulldogs are on the scoreboard. Granted, on the kicking game in these conditions, but Westerfield knocks it through. We'll be back to the Independence Bowl in Shreveport right after this. Stopped either. Everyone's still at work, foraging ahead through the snow. Wayne Goins. The fellows who run the Dog Pound Rock and Joe Weber alone back on first down and ten. Three wide out formation. Ferris rears back. Almost picked off. It was underthrown. Interference against the defense. And Texas AM with the ball on their own 40 yard line. Jamar Toombs the lone back. Toombs breaks one tackle. The Aggie 47. Toombs over the right side. Lucky to get maybe a yard that time. Join this win of Wonderland. We've got about uh, 500 of our associates up in these stands that are uh, covered in snow. And they're having a blast. And uh, we're Skates punting to Larry Huntington. Line drive spiral. And Huntington's knee touched down. First and ten, Bulldogs trail by seven. Ball on their own 14. Toss and 
trying to get to the edge. <laughs> a little Freudian slip. We. Huh? There's Walker again running between the tackles. Tough running by Dante Walker. In quite some time now. Tubbs in motion. Walker keeps his footing, breaks a couple tackles, and out near midfield. Well, this is a game they won't soon forget. Tubbs in motion to the top of your screen, ball at midfield. On first and ten, Walker hammering ahead. Traction and footing becoming paramount here. Play fake. Madkin has one dropped on him. Accumulating on this field. Gino, I wonder how many of these receivers now and backs have gone to gloves. Third down and six. Straight ahead is Desenzo Miller. Oh, doesn't aim for the sidelines. This one will be downed inside the tent. All Jamar Toombs. 14 rushes, 93 yards, and a touchdown. The Aggies pinned at their own five-yard line after that punt. Toombs again brought down, and let's check in with Reese Davis. A little bit hotter in the snow here, though. Yeah. It's not golf weather. Here, anyway. This is Richard Whitaker playing golf. But Cheryl is one that keeps score. <laughs> Ferris to pass. Brought down. Is it a safety? Not quite. Inches outside of his own end zone. Looking in in the trenches. Partially blocked. Heavy pressure. And someone may have got a bit of it. Huntington, in the middle of the field, gives the Bulldogs first and 10 from the 21-yard line, the Aggies' 21-yard line for Mississippi State. Matkin on the quarterback draw. Nice gain. And went back to the quarterback draw. Matkin, a very proficient runner, first and goal. Nice catch. An empty backfield again, Mark. Look out for the quarterback draw behind Fair, the center. Four yards shy of the end zone. Complete to Miller. Touchdown, Bulldogs. A little screen on the pass. And they are one point away from tying this ball game up. Under a minute to play in the first half. Hillback. We have a tie ball game with 54 seconds to play. Not often you see the tailback, the holder on extra points. Answering after that Texas A&M early 14-0 lead. How's he fall off the seat? He's going to kick it that side. Wow. He missed it. He whipped. He missed it. Great field position. <laughs> Not quite sure why they elected to kick it without using the tee. Look at the ball's not even on the tee. They try to kick it, just completely miss. 54 seconds left in the first half. No mulligans on the kickoff. Ferris going up top. Touchdown, Ferguson. the tight end Ferguson or the wide receiver going down the sidelines you see the defender slip Ferguson does a great job of just catching the ball and Ferris is saying hey that ass he was two for three and he okay. missed the extra point Kitchens misses the extra point the block courtesy of Mississippi State on the kickoff who skates to kick off. And he squibs it. This is Huntington. Huntington tiptoeing his way down the sidelines in good field position, but there's a flag down. In and if play will stand, it's offsides on the kicking team, Mark. Penalty, of course, declined by the Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs do have the wind at their back. Should they elect a field goal at the end of this drive? 
Pennington to pass. And losing valuable yardage on the sack. It took a long time to get that play off. Complete to Miller. Senzo Miller lunges forward, slipping and sliding down to the 20, brought down by Cornelius Anthony. An angel in the snow? Not quite. <laughs> We're going to go back to the studio. 20 to 14 at halftime. Hey, they've been having success running the football. Texas A&M only had four, five first downs in that first half, but they have a six-point lead. The Aggies field the kickoff. All right, Robbie, yeah, you can see the track where the Texas A&M band cleared out a little bit right down the middle of the field. First and ten for the Aggies. First play of the second half, and this Bulldog defense is fired up. Ball on the A&M 11-yard line. On second down, Ferris the throw. Completes it. To All wide receivers, receivers, Mark, only one back in the backfield. Whitaker on the handoff. He fumbles it. The Bulldogs have it. A miscue by the Aggies and Mario Hagan. And by Red Zone from Old Spice. Intense protection for intense people. Another miscue on the snap. And Mississippi State recovering it. Deep in Aggie territory. To the corner, it's DeCenzo Miller roughed up out of bounds. I don't know if you can call this. Ball on the Texas A&M five. Miller! I'm not, I'm not sure these officials could even see the goal line for his score. From the A&M one, second and goal. Dante Walker, still no signal. Third and goal. A pancake block right there. Full house backfield. That time they got in. Walker. And we are knotted at 20 apiece. Dante Walker. This is Scott Westerfield. He hits this one through. And Mississippi State has its first lead of the night. Through the snow and through the uprights is Scott Westerfield giving the Bulldogs a one-point advantage. And they were because he was running two and a half miles on his own to try to keep his weight down. This is Dwayne Goins. Coming across the field, Goins brought down. I kind of like Hambone Toretta. You like that? Yeah, that works for me. <laughs> Ball into Texas A&M 29, Jamar Toombs gains about three on first down to take a one-point lead, their first of the night. They run it between the tackles again, Joe Weber. Third down and six from the 34. Toombs, the first man through, still on his feet. A first down near midfield for Jamar Toombs. Keep the start. He's been solid his whole career here, Mark. Seth McKinney is the guy we're talking about. That is Jamar Toombs. <laughs> on the 47. Looks like a busted play. Ferris using some of his running skills acquired no doubt in part from four of nine in third down situations and what a hit immediately Willie Blade swarms Darcy Slocum his 12th year as head coach at Texas A&M the one-time defensive coordinator for Jackie Sherrill not sure about the wisdom of Huntington fielding that punt Vicenzo Miller and Kenny Williamson the backs Miller. The toss into the boundary to Miller. Gets to the edge. Nice gain. Gain of 
about four that time by Desenzo Miller. Ball on the 30-yard line, second down and six. Miller hogtied that time. From the Bulldog, 33 for Mississippi State. Aggies come with a blitz, and they almost get to Madkin, an incomplete pass. They got to him enough to get his face mask in on the pressure that time. Near midfield at the Mississippi State 48, first down and 10. Play fake by Madkin. Incomplete, intended for Clarence Parker. Madkin checking at the line. Checks them into a handoff to the fullback, Justin Griffin. I want no wise comments from you about kickers right now. <laughs> Madkin on the receiver screen. Miller breaks a couple of tackles. Mississippi State to punt. This is Cole. Mickey Jones lets it bounce. First and ten from the Aggie 17. Ferris wide open to Porter near midfield and Aggie first down Greg Porter he does a great job of it a 31 yard pickup Toombs gets the handoff runs over the left side second down and eight four wide receiver set Toombs the lone back it's complete wide open to Chris Taylor and Taylor has an Aggie first down first and ten from the Bulldog 35 for Texas A&M Tombs giving you that yak. We're right now trail in the third quarter. 21-20. Tombs again. Ferris doing the same thing here at Texas A&M. Third and two. Tombs close to the first down. Tombs and Jones in the backfield. Going up top into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Robert Ferguson. 14 seconds to play in the third quarter. First and 21 after the penalty. Toombs gets about three. 45 minutes in the books. In the snow. Who's going to gift wrap the victory? We'll find out in the last 15 minutes. We'll be right back. They've had some late meltdowns, including in overtime. Ferris passing. Complete to Johnson. One man to beat. Touchdown, Aggies. They can pound at you, or they can hit you with the quick strike. Just as we mentioned, the fourth quarter meltdown by Mississippi State. They give up a touchdown. And they'll convert the two points. Toombs with a block, and Whitaker with the run. Richard Whitaker gives Texas A&M a 28-21 lead. A little counter. Productive play for the Aggies. They lead when we come back. Skates to kick off back deep. It's Larry Huntington and Dante Walker. This is Huntington. And with the treacherous footing. Walker gains two on the play. <laughs> Five on the play clock in Mississippi State, unable to get the play off. Second and eight. Deep in their own territory, Madkin keeps it himself after faking the handoff to Williamson. Success on first down has been the key for him to stay, keep the ball on the ground. From their own 11-yard line, the quick slant incomplete by Madkin the third quarter is not anymore a low line drive punt not a great effort Jones lets it stop on Mississippi State side of midfield run together and kind of it's just all a blur but football 
every game. There's so much buildup around every game that it's really a big deal. That's what makes it special. No doubt we'll be keeping in touch with Toombs. Third down and four for the Aggies. They switch up the tempo this time, run it to the perimeter where Richard Whitaker, Jones and Toombs in the backfield. Toombs breaking several tackles. South Carolina, Lou Holtz. Dropped by Dennis Erickson, your former coach at Oregon State. Second down and two from the Mississippi State 19. They just get the playoff. Toombs chopped down. Nice tackle. Some injuries and some situations they've had in their secondary. Toombs again. And after a while. Toombs. for the extra point for the Aggies. As they have taken a 14-point lead. They have outscored Mississippi State 14-0 in this period. Number five is alive for the Aggies. We'll be right back to Shreveport after this. They were having to waste some timeouts early in the first half because of it. Huntington. Still on his feet. Nice return by Huntington out near the 45-yard line. Out of Mississippi. Penalty was against the Aggies. Adkin fires complete. Out of the backfield is Donald Lee. The ball on the 29-yard line of Texas A&M, first and 10. Flags on the play. Dead ball. Both start. Offense, five yards. Main first down. We want to show that we can get to where Texas A&M is. We're an up-and-coming program. Gaping hole for Walker. Dante Walker touchdown. Dante Walker takes it the distance. And the Bulldogs are right back in it. A 33-yard Mississippi State touchdown. Scott Westerfield heating it up. And they trail by just seven with plenty of time remaining on the clock. The Bulldogs looking for their second consecutive bowl victory. We'll be right back. Him. A knuckleball that stops dead at the 20. Goins. So many parallels between these two programs. Tomes again. This is Tomes. I still say he's an MVP candidate. Three they touchdowns both are. or not. Whoever wins, the, the running back's going to get the MVP vote. Ferris hands it off. Whitaker this time stopped up at the line of scrimmage. Don Milback, and it's wide, but a good play by Skates. A great recovery by Skates. This is Huntington. Collard out of bounds. First and 10 from the Mississippi State 40-yard line. Mackin looking downfield, and it's incomplete intended for Terrell Grindle. Brindle in motion. Madkin going up top. What a catch! But there's a flag down on the play. He was working on Sean Weston. And that's exactly what it is. Walker. He said, hey, I'm an offensive lineman. I'm going to bring it. Out of the shotgun, Matkin set up the screen, but it's incomplete. 
450 to play, 449 in the fourth quarter. AM coming on a blitz. Madkin, a little contact, and no play. Along with number 83, Mickey Jones, Cole hangs one up. Boy, you talk about stick and stay. Near the five-yard line. Ball on the Aggies' own six-yard line. Weber and Toombs out of the eye. Mississippi State has to keep an eye on the clock now with just one timeout. Not that old. Uh, second down and ten for Ferris. Toombs and Jones behind him out of the eye. Toombs mishandled the snap, got it back. It's third down and ten. Bulldogs bring pressure. Picked off. It is intercepted by the Bulldogs. Number 23, Marco Miner, with a major play in the game. Ferris really just trying to get rid of the football here at the last second. And Marco Miner able, able to step in front of the receiver and make a big time interception. With under three minutes, to his first pick of the career. From the AM4. The toss to Walker. Stop cold near the line of scrimmage is Dante Walker. Here's the goal line. We only got about four yards to go, and it's a tie ball game, folks. Second down and three. Griffith, the fullback. They run the ISO. Walker stopped up again. The wrecking crew. Ball on the three. Third and goal. They go to the end. The tight end, Donald Lee, wide open. So after two consecutive runs, they switch it up and go to the air. And we have a tie ball game. A couple of coaches intertwined through their history. Cheryl used to have Slocum as his defensive coordinator. The past against the present. Where they had the game won before Ferris threw a late interception which cost them same situation here Whitaker who would have ever thought when this game kicked off first down in 10 Ferris in the flat and the defense has come alive As we approach one minute to go on second and 14 tombs on the screen stopped up again Near the line of scrimmage, historical edition of the 25th Independence Bowl. Tied at 35. Stopped is Whitaker. On the goal line. It's perfect. And Skates gets off a high punt. Huntington. Out of bounds with no time remaining. And we will go to overtime. What better way to cap off the year 2000 for both these crews than to decide it with an extra period. We'll be back. Make sure they can find it through the snow. <laughs> Mississippi State. Texas A&M, meanwhile, trying to snap a three-game bull losing streak. And they go to work on offense from the Bulldog 25. Toombs in the backfield. Taylor in motion. Toombs. Toombs diving for the pylon. Touchdown on the first play. Jamar Toombs of Texas A&M. comes out with an imbalanced set tonight. And this one's blocked. And he laterals it. Into the end zone. Julius Griffin. With a score here, instead of tying it with a touchdown, they win it. Madkin has 
has a whole bunch of real estate. Madkin inside the 10, brought down by Jamison. Implausible, maybe. Improbable, maybe. First and goal. Walker stopped cold. And now it's going to be shotgun, so it looks like they're going to throw the ball. The clock's running down. They better get the snap off. And they barely get it off. Madkin. Touchdown! The Bulldogs win it! The quarterback draw has been run three times and three times it's worked. And the last one, nothing more important than OT in the score. The mentor beats the pupil. Cheryl defeats R.C. What a way to cap off the 2000 season for Mississippi State. Wayne Madkin, sinus infection and all. Into the end zone. From seven yards out to cap the victory. For Rod Stone and Gino Toretta, I'm Mark Jones. Wishing everyone out there a happy new year and all the best in 2001.